Hello, my name is Jeff Mertz and I'm a design editor at Wood Magazine. Today I'd like to talk to you about a Chinese checkers board that we have featured in the October 2008 issue. Uh, it's very simple to build um, and it's a lot of fun. It's a great project that you may want to help have one of your, your son or your granddaughter or you know, somebody help you out with in the shop. It's a great kind of learning project. Um, it's simple to make and requires very few tools. So uh, just with a router, table saw, I think about all you need to really build this project. We used birch plywood for the top. We liked it because it was solid, doesn't expand and contract a lot. Um, and by using like a Baltic birch with the multiple laminations, you're going to get uh, relatively void free whenever you plunge your router in to create the divots to receive the marbles. We do the divots just with a plunge router with a bit that you would use for cutting flutes. It's a half inch bit. Um, we use that same bit to create the flutes in the drawer tray. Um, the drawers are designed to hold the 10 marbles you need for each color for the game. It has a little stop that keeps the drawer from coming out too far and also a stop so the marbles don't fly around inside. So when you close the drawer and you need to move it, the marbles aren't going to go everywhere. So that's kind of a nice little feature. It's very simple to build like we talked about. A uh, rabbit frame so that the front and back and the sides are the same so it's easy to work through the joinery. Um, when applying the finish for the top to create the colors, you know, it may look a little intimidating, but if you apply clear finish to seal the wood, then mask off and paint each individual area just with a can of spray paint and then a clear coat over seals it up real nice. When masking off the top, you can really apply the color to three different areas at one time. Mask off the three areas, spray, 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 let that dry, remove the tape, and turn to the next three. So you don't have to worry about having six different spraying applications and taking forever to get it done. We wanted to make it easy for you. Um, one thing we also want to do is, you know, it's, you want to make sure you can pick it up. So we added these very simple, kind of elegant feet, and they're just a piece of half inch uh, solid wood with a, with a simple chamfer on the top. There's those marbles. Um, the drawer is solid wood, and it just slides in a couple of grooves in the bottom. There's some stops, and in the, the rails here are screwed to the plywood. So by removing those, the tray comes out, you can apply finish to everything, and then do your final assembly, and it really makes putting the finish on it a lot easier. Chinese Checkers is a fun game to play, and this is a project that's fun to build. It has some things in it that you may not have done before, like some flutes or plunge routing in a template to create the, the dimples for the marbles. With the masked painting, that's something a little different that maybe you haven't done before as well. So it, uh, it's a way to kind of enhance your skills and also create a fun project that you and maybe your grandchildren or son or daughter would play together. It's a good family project. Uh, thanks for visiting woodmagazine.com and hope you enjoy the project.